Hey guys, what's up? My name is Joel and welcome again to my vlog. So for today's video, we are going to talk about my TBR pile or my current to be read list. So in my today's TBR pile, I have um, five books to present to you. Um, these books are not in order or according on what books I need to read first, second, or third. Um, it depends on my mood. So without further ado, these are the five books on my TBR pile as of this moment. The first book in my TBR pile and probably my top priority because I'm so excited to start the series that is one of my Autobi authors that is Brandon Sanderson and this is The um, the Way of Kings. So um, The Way of Kings is the first book or the book one of the Stormlight Archive. This is very intimidating as you can see, a very intimidating book because it's around 1,000. 1,000 pages and I've never read a book that is more than 1,000 pages. Maybe this is the first book that I am going to read more than 1,000 pages. This is definitely a high fantasy, adult high fantasy. You know, I love Brandon Sanderson. I'm a fan of his works, for example. Um, I'm a big fan of his Miss Bourne, Miss Bourne trilogy. I've read the first book, Miss Bourne, months ago and I can't stop praising about the that book i also read his um, still heart yeah the still heart uh his young adult fantasy uh urban fantasy but this one i've heard a lot of good things about this one even though yes it is very intimidating but i am challenging myself to finally read a book that is more than 1000 pages so i don't know anything about this synopsis of this book but it's fight fantasy more magic kingdoms versus kingdoms with unique magic system it's the magic system they told me that the magic system in this book is less complicated or less complex compared to the mistborn so i think that is a good it's a thumbs up for me even though i love mistborn but the magic system was way complicated that it was more intimidating it became more intimidating for me so hopefully this one will be a different or an even better experience for me and i trust brandon sanderson so i can't wait to read this one the second book in my TBR list is Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera's What If It's Us. This is the first time the two authors uh, collaborate in one piece. Um, I'm not a fan of Adam Silvera, to be honest. Uh, there's only one book that I've read from him, and that is um, They Both Die in the End, and I hate that book. Um, I do love, or I'm a fan of Becky Albertalli. Um, I really love his, uh, her Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda book and I also love the movie adaptation of that book. Um, the reason why I'm going to put this on my TBR pile or to be read list this uh, moment at this moment because they both authors will be visiting the Philippines on November 11 that will be around 10 days from now or 11 days from now and for sure I'll be going to that book event here in Cebu so that my copy of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda and this one will be signed. I just don't really want to talk about the synopsis because I want to go blind or naked in reading this one. So this is a short contemporary book about breakups and moving on and more or less relationships. So excited for the book event, <laughs> book signing event. The next book that we have here on my TBR pile is Neil Shesterman and Jared Shesterman. A Jared, sorry. Neil Shesterman and Jared Shesterman's Dry. This is the first time father and son collaborated in one uh, book. I think this is the debut novel of Jared Shesterman, the son of Neil Shesterman. You know, guys, I'm a fan of Neil Shesterman. I'm a big fan of his Sight and Thunderhead series. I also love his Skinjacker trilogy, which are the Everlost, Everfound, and Everwild. I also have his Unwind and Full Tilt. I've, been, I've known Neil Shesterman for years now i'm a fan for since and i was in high school and i cannot wait for his third book of the site series which will be released next year titled the toll the toll but uh, yeah i'm not sure if it has the toll but uh, yeah i can't wait for the season uh, the epic finale of the trilogy which uh, going back to this book this is i didn't expect that he will be releasing a book before this year ends because I was expecting the next book he's going to release will be The Toll. But yeah, it's Neil Chesterman. I cannot complain. Auto by authors again. But I'm quite excited for Jared Chesterman. 
uh, for his debut novel. This is a, basically a sci-fi, probably a borderline before post before apocalypse where the earth um, ran out of water. So the setting or the plot here is set in California, Southern California, I think. Um, yeah, it talks about how these characters were going to survive in a community which is very hostile, which is there's people will kill for water, etc, etc. So I can't wait to read this one. This is probably right in my alley. The next book that I have here on my TBR pile is the second book of the Broken Art Trilogy. And this is The Obelisk Gate. I have, I just finished the fifth season, the first book of the trilogy, probably hours ago just today uh hours before i filmed this one and boy that book is now my best books that i've read this year the fifth season what is this where's the fifth? yeah this one this is the book one this is the book two and i already have the second and third book um this one is a Hugo award winner last year for 2017 and if that, that is not enough for you then i don't know what will convince you to read the series FYI, also, the first book, the fifth season, is a Hugo Award winner for 2016. Now, going back for this one, I don't want to talk about the plot for this one because I don't want to spoil you on the things or the details that happened in the first book. But basically, this is a sci-fi and fantasy mixed all together. So if you love science fiction, if you love fantasy, then probably this Broken Earth series is just for you. So... This is a very character driven and plot driven and the magic system is very unique and it reminds me of even though it's unique but it gives me this impression of the last airbender um the avatar the last airbender where um the characters really reminds me of the earthbender and the earth kingdom so if you're a fan of the last airbender then probably avatar the last airbender then probably you need to check this one out so it's basically The Last Airbender, Avatar The Last Airbender meets Star Wars, I think. Yeah, so grab this one. And the last book in my TBR pile is probably Mary Lou's latest novel. And this is the second um, book of the Warcross series. And I just found out that it's only Warcross and Wildcard. It's not a trilogy. It's only a duology, so this is the final book of the series. So I just bought this yesterday. I mean, yeah, a friend of mine and just bought this yesterday and it's not yet covered, so I'll be covering this one after I finish the video. So this is a sci-fi fantasy, I think. It's more on science fiction. Um, again, this is a second book, so I cannot really tell you more about what happened so that I cannot speak you for those who are he did not read Warcraft first Warcraft this one um, this one so if you don't know I'm a big fan of Mary Lou I have all her books the Rose Society Young Elites Prodigy Champion and Legend so I can't wait to read this book so that's it thank you so much guys for watching this video and I hope to see you soon so these are my TBR files pile currently i hope i'll be reading as many books as possible before the semester starts again and i might not finish reading these books before this year ends because i am still in grad school hopefully uh, i can finish at least four or three of them so wish me luck